Hello, I'm Mike McIntosh. I live in Unicoi, Tennessee, and I own Model A Max, which my father started in 1948. He married my mother, Kathleen Joyce Laws. My dad was Bernus McIntosh. He was from Belog, North Carolina. My mother was from uh, Green Mountain, North Carolina. But uh, he farmed and worked on antique cars this is one of his antique trucks that he had. It's a 1932 Roadster pickup. Today just happens to be June the 6th. My dad was a World War II vet. He went in Omaha Beach, second wave on D-Day. So God bless him and all the other servicemen and women both. No matter what branch, no matter what you've done, we thank you for your service. But back to the truck, he bought it somewhere late 70s. He bought it from a Mr. Roy Young. Roy was from Bernardsville, North Carolina. And that's next to Burnsville. And if you don't know where Burnsville's at, that's next to Asheville, North Carolina. Roy bought this truck, restored it, had it painted. Roy was a mechanic. He worked on vehicles like this when they were being used. But uh, Roy worked all of his life on antique cars, and uh, Dad was able to purchase this somewhere, like I say, late 70s, maybe 1980. It's been right here in Unicoi ever since. Very rare truck. They made 593 Roadster pickups. Now that includes the half ton and then the ton trucks. So somewhere around 300 they estimate of 32 Roadster pickups. So it's pretty rare. This is not the only one my dad owned. He owned another one and uh, it got sold and uh, things happened. But we've held on to this one. This is a picture of my dad. We went to Kingsport uh, I belong to the AACA, the Daniel Boone region. That's the Antique Auto Club of America, Daniel Boone region. And they had a show every year at uh, Allendale Mansion, they call it. And we took the truck over one weekend and put it on display and had it on the show. Of course, you can see Dad, and this is, this is his pride and joy here, the truck was. Uh, he dealt and sold many vehicles, many cars and trucks. But this 32 Roadster pickup, he would never sell it. He had different vehicles. He had a, a 1923 Cadillac belonged to George Jones, you know, and Chevrolets, specialized in Fords, but had many different brands, many different cars. Okay, the truck was restored many years ago, probably back in the 70s. And it's got lacquer paint on it, so a lot of cracks in the paint now. But uh, we've kept it here in the garage, and uh, we're going to show you a few things and a walk around the truck. The upholstery was done by Vaughn's Upholstery in Greer, South Carolina. And since then, they, uh, they had a fire and actually went out of business. But Vaughn's was real famous for doing upholsteries on all kinds of national show winter cars and trucks. We kind of specialize in Model A's and T models. Model T's had 20 horsepower. Model A had 40 horsepower. In your 1932 B engine, they had 50 horsepower. And we'll give you a little look. As I said before, it's been restored many years ago, so it's gotta be restored again. But most everything here is original. Got a little safety fuse on the side of the starter just for the wiring harness, but uh, most of it uh, restored back to original altitude. As I mentioned before, they made 593 of these 1932 Roadster pickups. Well, that included the one-ton BB Roadster truck and this half-ton uh, 32 Roadster pickup. But 90% of those were shipped to South America. 
So that didn't leave many for the whole United States. And this is one of them. And like I said before, Dad was lucky. He even owned another one, but uh, wound up keeping this one. Thank you for taking time and viewing our 32 Roadster pickup. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell below to see more. God bless and happy trails.